How's it made? Oh, hello. Sir Sidney McSprocket here. I've been in action capturing facts all about manufacturing. It's for this rather splendid stipendiary compendium I'm compiling. You just ask it how something is made, and it'll oblige with a fulsome explanation. Now, something that gets a lot of people a bit excited is slime. Not sure why myself. Slime's better off left in ponds, if you ask me. But it's a fun substance to play with. But how is slime made? <laughs> The slime is made from mixing a number of chemical ingredients. A bit like mixing together ingredients to make a cake. Step one. The chemicals are mixed in large stainless steel tanks, and computers instruct hoppers to pour in just the right amount of each ingredient. Step two. One of the chemicals is a polymer-based substance, not unlike the white glue you use at school. Polymer molecules are long chains, which will give the slime its slippery feel. Step three. A gelling agent goes into often something called sodium borate. This will make the slime sticky. Water is also added to get the slime to just the right consistency. Step four. Other ingredients include fragrance and colour. And to keep everyone safe, preservatives are added to prevent the slime from getting all rotten and germy. The ingredients are then mixed to create the right consistency of slime. Step five. Jars which hold the slime are loaded onto a conveyor belt that lines them up underneath nozzles, which will squirt the right amount of slime into each. Step six. And then a lid is added, and off the jars go to be boxed up. Of course, you needn't buy a slime from a shop. It's a very simple recipe, and one you can make at home. Just add white school glue to some liquid detergent. Oh, but get an adult to help. Adults aren't always big fans of slime, where it's not expected. Now, I must get on, but come back soon and find out more about manufacturing with my splendid stipendiary compendium. How's it made? With support from the Royal Commission for the 1851 Exhibition. Find out more at funkidslive.com.